Hey, my name is Greg Stolfer. I've been teaching at Edgewood for 33 years. I taught at St. John's for five, been in total 38 years teaching. I teach wood shop and I teach drafting. The students pick their projects. If they want to go big, then they go big. Some kids do big projects, some do many little projects. So it's really up to the student's choice. Their choice of wood, their choice of the project, all they have to do is get it finished within a lot of time. Sometimes I think this is the best kept secret Asheville County. We do a lot of Adirondack furniture, the chairs, we do the love seat, and we also do the settee where the tray's in the middle. People asked us to do a lot of Adirondack furniture for them. We probably do maybe six to seven pieces every year for fundraisers for them. They appreciate it. The community's been very good to me. You know, my ex-students have taken care of me as far as dropping off logs or giving me wood or giving me materials to teach with. You know, when they say you have to do more with less, we try to do more with less. And uh, we've been pretty successful. We spend a lot of time together. And you know, to me that's important. I'm willing to put in the time and uh, some of my students are willing to put in the time with me. So that's kind of, it's nice. But our work is probably better than 90% of the work out there. You know, are we typical? No, by far. It's a hands-on class. There's no chairs, there's no desks, so we move. And for a lot of students, they need to move. So for some of them, it's like recess. And as long as they can move, they do fine. I don't think, you know, if you take a high-end math class or a high-end science class, there's a good chance you're gonna forget 90% after you leave the class. But with repetition in here, especially my shop classes and drafting, uh, I don't wanna say I beat it into them, but I almost, it actually was what happens. You just do it so many times, it becomes secondhand nature. You almost can do it in your sleep. And that's important to me, you know, to be able to do this. It doesn't do me any good if the student just learns it here and, and then he can only do it here. It's important for me when they leave these doors, they can do it somewhere else. And that's important. I think when a student takes my class, when they, they'll appreciate this class is when they buy their first house when they have to do this or they have to pay someone to do it. And another thing, I tell them like the first week of school, I said, what we're making right now, I want you to be able to give this to your grandchildren. So what I'm trying to teach them is some vision, being able to look down the road. Because you know what, tomorrow's gonna come, the sun's gonna come up. So you know what, you have to be able to look down the road. And for them to give that to their grandchildren someday, and then explain to them what a wood shop is in what, 2070, that'd be pretty exciting.